Hey plant gang, Colocasia esculenta, the elephant ear, or tar taro. And so this is what people refer to typically as the elephant ear. Now there are a lot of different plants that people call elephant ears. Uh, this one, uh, Colocasia gigantea or Leucocasia uh, gigantea, they call that elephant ear. They call another plant called Alocasia uh, elephant ear. They call one Xanthosoma elephant ear. Uh, but the, what I want you to know is the Colocasia. And this one actually comes in a variety of leaf colors and uh, leaf shapes and patterns as well, from very small leaves to quite large leaves. Uh, and you can see that this is quite tropical uh, for us in eastern Tennessee. In most years, uh, elephant ears, colocasias, will overwinter depending on the cultivar. Not every single cultivar will, but in a mild winter you can expect them to come back in some form. Uh, but to make sure that they do uh, live, you probably want to dig them up and bring them in for the winter. Uh, but there's a variety of different plants that we call elephant ear. Uh, and I really would like it if people knew Colocasia esculenta. Colocasia esculenta, the elephant ear or the taro or taro. This has an arrowhead shaped leaf typically. Uh, can be quite large, uh, four foot high, eight foot wide. Varies depending on cultivar. Uh, there are some that only get a couple foot high. There are some that spread out quite wide. And so it really does vary by cultivar. Uh, you'll see it typically listed as zone 10 and above, but uh, in a mild winter, zone 7, you can uh, find this plant overwintering depending on the cultivar. Uh, moist, fertile, well-drained soil, sun to partial shade. Uh, you want to water this well during the growing season, in, spec in particular during warmer times. You can dig the tuber in the fall and store uh, if you are in a cooler area. Here's a landscape tip. Edible tubers and young shoots Boil to remove calcium oxalate crystals brings a great tropical feel to the garden.